I think as a, as a young person, which was many years ago, I saw evangelism as people on the street corners uh, preaching and shouting and heckling at people as they went past. And that is still a way that people use evangelism today. But for me, I think evangelism is much more than that. It's much more about coming alongside young people, journeying with them, caring for the things that are really going on in their lives. One of the key things is not being frightened to talk about your own personal experience. You know, times when God's really been close to you or has touched your life, um, experiences of the mystical and things like that. Um, and so, you know, when I've done that in assemblies and things, a few times I've had girls come to me and say, well, I don't really believe in God, but I can't argue with your experience. Actually being open and sharing uh, my struggles and how my life's changed and, and how I've become to be doing this job has been a really uh, powerful way of, of actually being to engage with young people and actually get them to show that um, having a faith and how that can sort of change your life for the better really. I think being able to tell people stories and be relational in your evangelism and in how you're doing it is very much a reflection of my understanding of how Christ acted throughout the Gospels. The longer I've been here, the more I've seen how effective that approach can be. And again, I'd say that's a reflection of Jesus' engagement with people in the Gospels, in that he met people where they were and he spoke to the issues that were on their heart. And at the same time, and often by doing that, uh, brought the good news to them. You know, Jesus, when he saw people, he didn't just meet their spiritual needs, but he met their physical needs and their emotional needs too. So I think for me, evangelism, evangelism isn't just about preaching the gospel. It's about, it, that is part of it, but it's about so much more than that. It's about journey, journeying with young people through life, step by step, and sh sharing Jesus by what we do, by what we say, just by the little things, the little acts of kindness very often make a big difference. I remember when I was a young person coming from a non-Christian family and then having input from youth workers but very relational input. I couldn't tell you half of what we did in sessions but I can tell you about the times that I sat in their living room and just chatted. It's actually about showing the young people we work with that actually first and foremost our job is love. Uh, and to love them where they are and, and not judge them for who they are or for the struggles and challenges that they're going through, but actually just to support them and care them for them and, and show them a direction that is hopefully positive.